Hi, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate the super glider code that I've created and also the max patch that goes with it that allows you to affect it in stereo and in a multi-channel environment. So let's begin with the super glider code itself. So we'll start with sboot, which will boot the server. And when that's finished booting, okay. So we have the first things first is we set the tempo clock of the server to 0 0.1. This allows the rate at which we're outputting notes to be a lot slower than what it originally was, which is one. Um, reasons for this is because um, somewhere down the line, the code itself was outputting at a rate set by the tempo clock and it, it was just too quick so we set that as 0 0.1 the first section is a um, a mix that's full of 100 signs um, at a speed of six it's panning to in stereo using a sine oscillator which is the volume of that sine oscillator is a lf noise and a line object um, uh, uh, so this is additive synth synthesis um, we're adding different objects together to create um, complex um, sound so that's what we have there in the next one we actually have a high pass filter this is called bubbling brook and uh, what this is doing is it's a high pass filter uh, of a one pole of brown noise and a low pass filter of brown noise that are counteracting with each other and fading in and out which is giving it the sound of a uh, of a river um, this has a fade in time of 10 seconds so you might not hear that in the video but the it's actually fading in Uh, next, we have a synth definition called intro, which is um, w which is basically uh, f the 15,000, 16,000 hertz frequencies. Um, it's using a low fast filter, uh, low f <laughs> sorry, an LF par, and an envelope generator to create um, a, uh, a, a a synth. Um, and then I'm sending it through to a routine call, um, which has a, a bunch of different arguments which are set and they describe um, the interval randomness and the stale that the notes will be in. Um, so we're, we will affect that and have that fade in with a... And then in the s second part, we have a, a, a another synth definition called param. And uh, that's pretty much the same as the other synth definition in how it works. It's just got different arguments to produce more complex, um, a more complex composition. So we'll play that. Uh, with the pink noise, it fades in at a rate of 10 seconds, so we will hear that and that will fill up the mix a little bit and uh, that's just to give it a bit more uh, of a uh, sonic texture. So that is the super glider code that i have and um what i was hoping to do is have that rooted into the max msp patch on this computer i'm able to use my sound card as an input so anything that's actually playing on the laptop such as the super collider i have as an input in max um in a performance it would probably go out to a um a, a, a separate sound card and then into a separate computer or something uh so with this patch 
it's called enigma and the reason why it has no labels is that was a creative decision when designing it i wanted a patch that had a bunch of different modular mo modules on it um which the only real only real way that you can get acquainted with it is by using it and um trying to figure out what it does and how to use it effectively so the in the first module you have the choice between the sound file and an input so we will open up a sound file for this demonstration and we'll turn it on let's try that again so now we have the sound uh, super collider code coming into the max sound screen um, first thing is we have two filters left and right um, which have knobs again they're not allows you to split the sounds the way that with more control using um, the filters here. So just turn these off. This one is a reverb module.